Hi everyone, I'm Daniel with Dogs That Are Subaru. So if you ever wanted to see a Crosstrek Limited, the top of the line, and if you ever wanted to see a Subaru that just came off of uh, the boat and uh, about to be unpackaged, we have a treat for you today. So let's have a look at a 2024 Crosstrek Limited in crystal white pearl. So that's the car right here. Um, it just arrived and uh, we are in Vancouver. So we have Vancouver port uh, right beside us and that's the uh, closest point from Japan uh, where these are made. Uh, so lucky for us, uh, these cars uh, get offloaded off of the boat and pretty much come um, straight to our dealership here, straight to our store. So again, it's a 2024 Crosstrek Limited. And let's go over a few of the things that distinguish the Limited. So A, we've got uh, these uh, rims. It's 18 inch rims with a specialized design that only the Limited comes with. Um, this car, as far as I mentioned, it just came off of the boat. Um, it, it hasn't uh, been unpackaged yet. It still has plastic wrapping here. And that's also the reason why we don't have um, the center cap yet. Uh, I'll show you the center cap in a bit. It, it should actually be inside the car. So we have a little bit of uh, dust uh, on it and stickers and stuff from transport, but it's looking pretty good. So on the Limited, we've got the fog lights, uh, which we also have in the Onyx, but in the Limited, they get a, a more subdued uh, bezel, uh, a gray one, and they are LEDs as well, uh, LED fog lights, as well as LED steering responsive headlights. At nighttime, uh, this, uh, C-shape uh, lights up as well. Um, you have an LED around here and the signals are also LED. Uh, that's on uh, all of the cross tracks above the base model. Although the headlights kind of look similar in all of them. So being the top of the line, it also has the sunroof here. The mirror caps are actually exactly like the Onyx. And in the back, we do have a color match right here on the top, on the top uh, which the Onyx doesn't. The Onyx has a, a black stripe right here. So if you don't want that, and uh, you wanted all the features of the Onyx as well as uh, a few extras, which I'll go over right away, you could go, you could opt for, for the uh, Limited. Other than some of those differences, the inside will be the same as the Onyx that I've reviewed before. But of course, as you can already tell, we've got a very nice material right here. Um, so that's genuine leather, real leather. And let's take a look at it inside. I'll pan around here just to give you a view. So in the Limited, at least in Canada, we actually have this uh, slight orange stitching right there and this continues on to the side right here this is synthetic leather it's a soft touch material very easy to clean nice soft feels great another thing that you'll find in the uh, limited that distinguishes it from all the others um, basically are some of the luxuries um, other than the leather seats which i'll show more closely right away we also have the Harman Kardon sound system. As you can see, Harman Kardon. And I believe they count something like uh, nine speakers or, or something like that, but some of them are uh, dual speakers in the same housing. Um, but anyways, uh, these Harman Kardons do also come with an amplifier. I believe they put, they put them under the seat right here. Uh, let's actually take a look. And uh, the sound definitely is better than, than the basic um, sound system. All right, got the doors unlocked. Let's see down there. Yes, you can see right there. Um, that's the amplifier for the Harman Kardon sound system. So it doesn't just use the power from the head unit, it's got its own amplifier, uh, which is great. Pumps more power to uh, the speakers and makes them louder. And uh, the speakers themselves, the cone themselves are of better quality. So uh, the sound is more crisp. You have more bass, more treble. 
um, and yeah, and more, more amplification as well. I've got the same two USBs as we had in the Onyx, so nothing new there. Here are the center caps, if anyone was wondering. So these are the center caps that come from the Japanese factory. These are drain plugs right here that our technicians install. And uh, that's the wrench, the uh, uh, tire iron that uh, will go in the back. For some reason, that's, that's how it comes and uh, it's up to our technicians during the pre-delivery inspection process uh, to put all this stuff on. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, leather. All right, so um, I didn't get uh, much of a chance to see the leather in the Limited before either. So this is uh, kind of maybe a new thing for both of us. Uh, but I can see right away that this looks very similar to what we had in 2023 in the Limited, meaning a charcoal top type leather uh, seating material with perforations and um, an inside orange accent. So you can see this, these pinholes here. I think it looks awesome. It does actually have a hexagonal uh, pattern now that I uh, actually, when I look through the camera, I can, I can see that. And let me zoom in a little more. Now Subaru calls these uh, leather uh, seating surfaces, which makes me always think that these side pieces are actually synthetic leather. They're not real leather. And then I believe the inside here is, uh, is real leather. So that's how that works. You can see the stitching around here as well. And the light orange accenting right here. It's not too much. Uh, keep in mind, we do have the sun shining right on it. So um, it's a bit more visible than otherwise. Um, and I overall think it looks awesome. Such a nice change from just, um, you know, bland black or cream seats. And let's take a look. Have a look right here at the backrest. It's a similar style, similar orange accents here and orange stitching. And this is new, so um, looks like in 2024 they went with a slightly uh, light orange, uh, light gray, um, sort of a piece right here on the side of the seat. Of course, beside it we've got the armrest that folds out. And as I always say, the back of Prashek is a very comfortable place to be. So uh, you have ample leg room. We've got now amenities with the two USBs, the armrest and the cup holders. Um, nice big windows on the sides, um, so fun place to be. And with the Harman Kardon, we've got those speakers in the rear here as well. Um, it'll be a really nice sound. Now the material, I'm just noticing this on the side here in the back. Uh, it's a bit more basic, I gotta admit. It's not a soft touch material, as in the front. So that's kind of an interesting choice, but that's what it is. The material here still is soft touch, but it doesn't give that luxurious impression um, like the front does. And of course we've got the sunroof here. So that's that, and let's go into the driver's seat just to check it out one more time. I'll show you one, uh, one or two more differences. Of course, you've got the heated steering wheel, although that in the Crosscheck has almost become a standard feature. We have it uh, on one up from the base and onwards, so in Canada it's the Touring and above. So lots of the trim levels have it. Heated seats, of course, uh, standard actually, even a base model has that. I see the orange stitching right here on the inside as well. Nice touch, um, digital parking brake and um, wireless charger, same as the Onyx. And now the other difference you'll actually see in the screen. So I'm turning on the car here. Of course, we've got a Christmas tree of lights all around here. And that's because... That's because the car hasn't gone through a pre-delivery inspection process. It hasn't gone through PDI. And you can see it's got eight kilometers. That's about uh, five miles. Um, I like to joke that those kilometers only go up, they don't go down. Anyways, let's have a look at the screen here. So in the Limited, in the top of the line, you also get the built-in navigation. Of course, in all of them, you can use um, Apple CarPlay. 
but if you're in certain well in certain situations it's nice to have the built-in navigation as well if your phone is off or out of range or something and i know you can download maps uh, google maps as well um, i guess one advantage is that uh, this uh, screen it comes from tom tom navigation so it's a very good company works really just as well as apple carplay i guess i might as well just show you so a quick search let's see how responsive it is not too bad uh, we can type in an address and i won't type the whole address i'll let it kind of search and guess all right not too bad And what I really like about uh, this navigation system is the ability to make the screen even larger, just for, just like that. So as you can see, this uh, this is a larger screen, and and it and it looks um, better actually than. Um, you will Apple arrive at Apple your CarPlay. destination at eleven thirty-two. Thank you, Subaru. Um, so yeah, nice uh, large screen for navigating. Um, so just an additional bonus if you get the limited. But again, you can always use Apple CarPlay. I um, mean, it's a pretty similar experience. Um, other than that, in the Limited, another new feature uh, that we have is the uh, Driver Focus. Driver Focus is a distraction mitigation system as well as a driver recognition system. So it's similar to Face ID or something like that. So the idea is that inside here, there's an infrared camera that watches the driver's face. And if they are, if they look tired or they look away or they look distracted, the car will do a little beep and tell the driver to keep their um, their eyes on the road. Now, I haven't tested this system uh, yet. Uh, this is, like I said, the first limited I really had a chance to uh, kind of see and touch inside and play around with. Uh, but in other models, uh, that system can also use the face, face ID recognition to set your seat, kind of like a memory seat function, as well as the mirrors. Um, I don't know that it will do the side mirrors here, but hopefully it does the seat adjustment uh, for you. And actually, I don't know if you noticed, but right here, it turned on for just a second. I could see it through the camera. I can't see it with my naked eye, but I could see it through the camera. I guess it picks up the um, um, the infrared. Now that that infrared camera doesn't record anything it just watches the driver's face at all times and will it will kind of beep if you're if you're distracted and for those memory functions other than that um we also have in the limited we're back to this um lighter colored headliner so if you didn't like it in the onyx you can see that the uh, limited the top of the line actually comes with this lighter colored headliner which we have in all other trims other than the onyx so as you can see a few features that you get a few bonus features above the um above the onyx and for some people you know just having the leather seats instead of the fabric seats uh, would make it, it worthwhile to upgrade but uh you also get the harman kardon sound system which is super nice um and uh and you know the uh, the driver distraction mitigation and the built-in maps um so all in all um a few features above the Onyx and uh, it may make for uh, for a worthy upgrade. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, have you ordered a Crosscheck? Tell your story in the comments. Let me know if you uh, what you want to see next. There I can see, I could see the, uh, uh, the infrared camera again. And that's about all for today. Have a good day.